Hyundai's Ioniq Autonomous concept gives the company's newest EV and hybrid a self-driving upgrade and then sets it loose on the streets of Las Vegas, Nevada. Hyundai's goal is to balance high-tech with affordability, building on existing driver assistance sensors with a few discreetly placed extras like LiDAR. I took a ride in the latest prototype. So there's a green light, so we know that's there. That You should be seeing a blue box on the screen on the left back there. We actually saw it go, when it went yellow, we detected it as red. That's We don't detect yellow separately. So right turn coming up, you'll see the car start. There it goes. Notice it car signaled as well. Yeah. You should, so there's a pedestrian indication on the screen. So it's just telling you, yes, I know something's there. And then we've detected the large truck. And that's the first time you've seen a vehicle, so it said, yes, I know something's in front of us. Now the pedestrian in this case was far enough away from the crosswalk that we said, okay, that person's standing still. So we proceeded with the green light. So we'll take another ride at the next light. It's another chance to see that screen, uh, the camera screen detect it. On the LiDAR screen, this is where one of the critical things you can see there will be those solid blue lines, right? As I mentioned, that's the map data. But hopefully what you're seeing along that, at certain intervals, you'll see some kind of red or purple lighting up those lines. Right. That uh, seems like a simple thing on some level, but that's really critical to what we're doing because that's LiDAR saying, yes, that curb is there, so I know where I am. Cars pulled up again. <laughs> yeah. well, fortunately, we can see that prediction. <laughs> oh, so it won't make the right turn on a red because okay, it can't see safely. Safe. Good, good. This is a very good example. So, okay, so I thought about it and sorted it out. Right, and a big input into that was the fact that those cars were turning left. So that brings up, you know, talking about this detailed level of mapping we have to have rules like that have to be in there right to say okay that intersection for people turning left you know coming that direction they must not be allowed to u-turn so we know if people are turning left then it's okay for us to to take the right on red you know one other key thing to point out right, is where this shows you the speed limit as well so you know where we're going 25 through here uh, moving toward production Things like how to handle speed limits are things we have to think about. Uh, and reg regulations may provide those answers or they may not. So uh, these are some of those things that have to get solved you know, before we can really have uh, true consumer-facing uh, autonomous vehicles.